okay the next part is the solar energy which is the ultimate source of energy the energy received by earth from the sun in the form of radiation is the solar energy the amount of incoming solar energy is immense or it is a huge amount of energy in 10 weeks the amount of incoming solar energy would equal the energy of all known solar all known fossil fuel reservoirs distribution is variable due to climate location on the earth etc thermonuclear fission reactions of hydrogen this energy is produced because of the fusion reaction of hydrogen four hydrogen nucleus they combine to make one helium atom it can be converted directly or indirectly into other forms of energy inexhaustible source of energy this can be abundant source of energy so how to use solar energy there are two ways one is direct way and one is indirect way so for the indirect way we are we have kept only photosynthesis in that so what is photosynthesis photosynthesis is the process by which the plants they convert carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight into sugar that is glucose and oxygen so this is the process of photosynthesis where carbon dioxide co2 reacts with water h2o and convert them into sugar or glucose that is c6h12o6 and oxygen o2 so this is the actual process for direct ways there are many options like direct heating so this is the layout of a house which uses the direct heating from the sun so we have kept in the south direction a window which is generally allowing the sunlight to come inside the house and heat the house during uh, during winter but in case of summer when sun rises very high we have kept the shading so that we can avoid the radiation high intense radiations from the sun so this will not heat too much the house so this is applicable in some of the regions where we can uh, put the houses as per the need, as per our needs next is heat to electricity generally we are getting two types of energy from the sun one is heat and another is light so first of all how to convert heat into electricity we can use the solar reflectors which we may which may reflect the radiation to the center of the tube where oil is passing and this oil gets heated which converts uh, which passing through the uh, heat exchanger and converts the water into steam this steam rotates the turbine and finally produces the electricity so that is heat to electricity and how to convert light to electricity for this we can use solar cells what are solar cells solar cells are made up of silicon silicon generally is a semiconductor which on addition of electrons becomes n type semiconductor and removal of electrons becomes p type semiconductor when you combine n type and p type there is a formation of junction and electrons may pass this junction with the help of solar radiation energy from the solar radiation so when the solar radiation falls on the junction electron jumps and they pass through the n type to the p type and the flow of electron is also called as current so at ultimately the current is flowing but in this case the problem is that the electrons can absorb only one kind of wavelength depending upon their energy so the efficiency is not so high solar water heater this is used in colder regions mainly where there are there are no uh, availability of the electricity or other things here we are having some panels where we circulate the water and this water is heated with the solar radiation and it is collected on the tank which is kept above the panel so that is solar radiation and what is solar furnaces and this uses the technology of reflection from the mirrors so we install so many mirrors which reflect the radiation to the central part of the tower where the temperature goes very high almost above 1000 degrees celsius and this high temperature can be used for any purposes so that is solar furnaces in india 
the distribution of the solar power capacity is something like this where rajasthan and gujarat is having the highest solar power uh, plants are installed in rajasthan and gujarat more than 1000 megawatts and the lowest is in the region or the hilly regions like jammu kashmir like uh, eastern part of the country what are the main advantages it is free it needs no fuel it is not producing any kind of pollution the operative maintenance is very low after storing we can use the electricity and what are the disadvantages first of all low efficiency as i told you already high initial cost the prices are very high the lack of storage because the sunlight is not available in the night time so we need to store the energy in the batteries which are also not very good so lack of storage and lots of space we need large amount of space to collect the solar radiation and can be unreliable within the sunny climate 